Hello and welcome back to the Profile Tree YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to go through the process of linking an audience source and creating an audience which we can use to retarget in a campaign. In our previous videos, we've gone through the process of setting up an account, setting up conversion tracking and creating a DSA campaign. Before we begin, make sure to leave a like on this video and leave a comment below if there's something you want us to cover in a future video and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any future content. Now, from where we left off last time, you'll need to go to tools and settings at the top, go down to audience manager, and now you need to set up an audience source. So if you click on set up audience source, it will take you to your data sources. Here you will have a list of options to choose from. Set up or link audience sources to unlock the power of remarketing. You can set up a Google Ads tag. You can use Google Analytics if you have linked it or G4 and Firebase if you have linked that. If you would like to use a third party or perhaps retarget someone through your YouTube channel, you can select this. For now, let's set up Google Ads tag and then Google Analytics. So set up tag. Now you need to select the type of data the source would be collecting. You can select only collect general website visit data to show ads to your website visitors or collect data on specific actions that people perform on your website to show personalized ads. This would be an add to cart section or begin checkout. Now remember, remarketing allows you to reach people who have previously interacted with your business. So select the option based off of what you want to use retargeting for. In this case, we're going to go with only collect general website data. Next is restricted data processing. This is for California users. When restricted data processing is enabled, Google will limit how it uses data. For example, users based in California won't be added to your data segments, so we can leave that and click save and continue. Now we need to install the tag on your website. You can once again, like with the conversion tracking, install the tag yourself, email the tag to a webmaster or use Google Tag Manager. And the process is very similar. You need to install a global site tag or you need to enter an email address or you can input the conversion ID into your Google Tag Manager. I'm going to email it to myself just for this example. Send and continue. Then you can click done. Now that that is set up, once you have installed the code into your website, you should start tracking data in this tag. Next, let's set up Google Analytics. Click set up on Google Analytics. Now you are prompt with set up an additional tag. You've already set up Google Ads tag, which can provide the same information as a Google Analytics tag. To set up another tag anyway, click continue. In this case, we're going to click continue. You are following the same process by collecting standard data or collecting specific attributes or parameters to personalize ads. If you click on that, you're given a list of business types to choose from. These parameters allow your tag to collect information about activity on your website that's specific to your business type. If your business type is not listed here, you can click on custom. In this case, we're going to go with collect standard data. And now you need to select the view in analytics. You should have access to your own account pop up and you select the correct one. Then you click save and continue. Now you're finished. You can click done. Now you have set up two tags in your data sources. Once you have installed the code correctly and you make sure that data is coming through the audience source, you can then use these to create audiences. Now it's time to create an audience based off of how people interact with your website. If you click the blue plus, we can create a new remarketing list. You can remarket to website visitors, app users, YouTube users, or create a customer list. Let's go with website visitors. Now you need to give this audience segments a name. I want to retarget everyone who has submitted a contact us form on our website. So I'm calling this a contact us form submission. Here you need to select the segment members. So 
do you want to target people who are visitors of a page, visitors of a page who also visited another page, or did not visit another page, or do they visit a page during specific dates or with specific tags? Let's go with visitors of a page. Now you need to create a rule that Google can look at to grab data pertaining to people who have visited your specific page. In this case, the page URL contains contact us. And once you've typed this in, you'll see the amount of cookies that have been collected in the last 30 days of activity. This is obviously a training site, so we have no visitors, unfortunately. But we can move on to the next step. Next is the pre-fill options. Choose between pre-filling the segments or starting with an empty one. Google Ads can pre-fill your segments with people who have interacted with your business in the previous 30 days. Or you can start with an empty segment. The choice is yours. Let's start with an empty segment. Membership duration. Membership duration is the amount of time someone will stay in your data segment after interacting with your business. So if someone clicks on the page and doesn't click on it again for another 30 days, they'll be removed from the segment. You can change this to whatever you like up until 540 days. In this case, let's go with 60 days. Next, you have the option to give your segment a description by simply typing it in here. I simply said people who have filled in a contact us form and then you can create the segment. And there you go. Now that you've done this, you'll see contact us form submissions is the segment that we've just created, but all visitors has been automatically generated from Google ads and Google analytics because we set up the tags. This may take a while to populate if you have traffic running through your website. Keep in mind that at the moment, these are too small to serve, which means you cannot use these in a retargeting campaign. Each campaign type has a different size allocated for that audience. In search, for example, must have at least 1,000 active users to serve as a remarketing audience. Once you have at least 1,000 people coming through the page in your time frame, you can then use this to remarket. Next is the custom segments section. If you click on the blue plus, we can add a new custom segment. Give the segment a name. In this case, I'm just going to go with new custom segment. Here you can choose to include people with following interests or behaviors. People with these interests or purchase intentions, and you can simply type them in here. For example, if I type in cars, you'll see use cars, use cars for sale, auto dealer, and you can choose from the drop down menu. Or you can simply press enter to add. If you use certain terms, these work similar to keywords. But once again, you can simply type it in and there are some options to choose from. And if you click it, it will add it. On the side here, you can see weekly impressions based off of what you have selected. Remember that this is the size of the possible audience and this is not guaranteed you would need unlimited budget to be able to reach this amount of people within a week. Here it gives you the demographics. So we can see that 65% of this audience is female and 25% of this audience is 25 to 34. You have the option to expand segments by also including people who browse types of websites and you can put in a list of websites, people who use types of apps and you can select from a list of apps or people who visited certain places, and you can put in specific locations. You can then click Create, and your new custom segment is built. You can then use this in a campaign to target specific people based off of the segments that you set up. Combine segments is simply combining custom segments and data segments. And that brings us to the end of this video. Please make sure to leave a like on this video if you found it helpful, and subscribe to make sure you do not miss any future videos. For now, I'll see you in the next video. So thank you for watching. Goodbye.